Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixup Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial. This week's scrapbook layout is one of me and my family a couple of Christmases ago. We're all squashed around the dinner table on Christmas Day and uh, we had the camera on timer and it's just one of those classic family photos around the dinner table. So I decided to scrapbook it. So I'm just sorting through some papers here. These are last year's Echo Park A Perfect Christmas and simple stories very merry so i've got a mix i just the packs are so similar the colors are the same everything and i was getting confused so i just ended up mixing the whole two packs together because everything matches so well so you can see there the sticker packs which i end up using and yeah lovely 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 all my kind of colors traditional greens reds whites all that kind of thing so you can see there what i end up going for so i've got a nice mix of prints and um, colours and stuff. So what I'm going for here is it's more about trying to show off as many of the papers because there were so many lovely prints and I couldn't make my mind up. So I'm going to be adding a lot of layers to this. So right there you can see I've just kind of done about a three and a half inch strip and then I am matting my photo on the same paper that I've done that strip just because I didn't want to do, this is a creamy colour and I haven't really got any cream cardstock so I didn't want to use white because I didn't think it would work so well so this was the closest kind of lightest I'd say of the you know papers in that pack so I thought it would be good to frame that photo and then I'm popping it against this really kind of dark green and that looks really nice. So I'm just distressing the edges here, I've been using my nail file for ages and I was in the craft store the other day and they had this which is the distressing tool, it's the Dovecraft distressing tool, I'll share links and um, it's just so much quicker. But I do like my nail file and it gives your photos, the nail file gives you more of a scratched look and you can kind of really mess up your photos, which I like. This is purely just for doing your edges, which you'll see in the photos at the end. So now I've just added that on top of that kind of olive, really deep green. And again, I just went and quickly distressed the edges there. And again, I'm distressing the edges. Every single layer of paper that I've used on this layout has this kind of distressed edge. And what you can also do is once you've kind of broken and exposed all those kind of fibers on the edges of your paper, you can go in there with then your distressed inks. So it's a really nice way, especially if you're doing like mini albums and stuff like that. It's a great kind of texture to add. And it's so easy to do. That tool does all the work for you. So again, now I'm going back to my little trimmer there and I'm just taking more of the paper and just selecting different prints and kind of starting to layer them up. So yeah, again, no real rule with this. I was kind of just going with the flow as I always do. And um, yeah, cut a strip, distress, cut a strip, distress, which is what you can see me doing here. This one was really nice on the green because it really brought the white through the core of the cardstock there. So yeah, again, you'll really get to see that in the photos. And then I've got that last one there, which I, again, I've just cut like a smaller strip. And then this one was really nice. This is like a music sheet, which was uh, again in the pack. So again, that one's kind of the longest, thinnest strip that I've got. And you'll see, again, I'm just starting to layer that over. So it's all starting to come together. I've gone for a real cluster just towards the kind of bottom, you know, right kind of side towards the bottom. So um, I was just putting out some washi tape there. These are just some Christmas ones. I've, I'm using these ones. I keep going to them because they are the colours I like and they're working with a lot of the papers I've got at the moment. I have tons of Christmas washi but they are the ones I keep going to. Now, I've mentioned in a tutorial before, there's something wrong with my camera and it's literally missing out chunks of video, but it's still showing as recording. So I have no idea what it's doing and it's a very good camera. So I need to look into that. So it has all of a sudden just hopped. Now, all I've done is stuck everything down. So you haven't missed any techniques or anything, but you can see now the photo and all those layers is all in place. And what I was just doing with the washi tape is towards the bottom there and it's just some strips going through. Now, what I went ahead and done is all the stickers in that pack. So I just selected some that I liked stuck them on some red really strong cardstock fussy cut them all out and now I'm starting to stick them all down so it's kind of classic Sam scrapbook layout things so you haven't missed any any kind of like I said techniques now I had stuck that Merry Christmas down which is one of the American crafts it's their new pack but I just I don't know what it is with it I haven't I keep use going to use it and then I take it away again I think it's too 
dare I say dull it's like a really light wood effect and it's actually just not really working for me so whether it will get used next year I don't know so we will see so in the end I went to my gold American Crafts puffy stickers I love these I've used the um what was the ones last time they're not christmas themed ones they're just so nice i just love gold now these ones i liked because it looks like you've just kind of signed your scrapbook layout i know it says merry christmas but it it's that hand kind of writing joined up writing just look really nice so i just kind of got it to, off to the left there i tend to put my titles i back them and layer them up but this one i just wanted it to almost look like it was a signature so maybe that's what you're thinking it does look like i hope <laughs> that's what i think anyway and then i'm just grabbing some more of the little snowflakes from the same puffy stickers and i added them in so now i'm just going into this was the Mer very merry simple story stickers here and i'm just pulling out the words and i have good cheer which i'm sticking down there then i've added traditions towards the left i've got december and then i add in magical seasons and then i've got that perfect christmas towards the top right of the photo itself so this is that magical seasons ones that i'm just sticking down i also added some hearts which were from the paper pack as well the stickers and again you'll see them a bit more closely in the photos and now you know i'm coming to the end of the layout because i've got my nuvo drops that one there actually let me just grab you'll hear me now rooting around this is the pale gold that i used and it just brings a really nice shimmer and it it's kind of got a greeny feel to it so again it, it did kind of match in really well and there you can see so although it's a very quick layout <laughs> all you missed was me sticking everything down really so but yeah really really like it love again those traditional green colors love the photo with all our christmas hats on and uh, yeah just another nice one to pop in my scrapbook album and remember those happy days some people have asked as well about dates and things like that i pop it all on the back sometimes i do do a little bit of journaling on the front of my layouts otherwise i just put the date of the um, actual kind of photo and i just write it on the back of the scrapbook so yeah there you go but you can also stamp them as well i do have a date um Oh, rolling stamp i can't remember the the exact name again but I, I always forget these things when people ask me so yeah i have them but i've got such a standard kind of scrapbook way of doing it i think i just i always keep them quite basic and let the stickers and stuff do all the work so anyway there you go i've done enough talking hope you've enjoyed it i will be back with one more christmas layout on christmas eve eve so yeah next sunday um until then have a great week and i'll see you soon bye